Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tides Schooling. In this session of the video, we're going to talk about the duodenum, which is actually the part of this small intestine, the first part of the small intestine, which is duodenum. So in this section, what actually we are going to cover up is that we're going to talk about the duodenum, its four parts and the their relations especially we're going to talk about their relations and we will be going to understand them perfectly you know easily you know we'll be using this diagram to understand uh, the uh, you know the location uh, where uh, like the relation of the duodenum with other structures we'll be going to talk about that in the F end of the uh, s s lecture of the duodenum we're going to talk about the arterial nerve supply and the lymphatics of the duodenum so let's get started so first let's talk about a little bit talk about the small intestine then we'll move up to the uh, you know the duodenum so the small intestine which is actually considered as the longest part of the elementary canal and which actually extends from the pylorus you, you know the pylorus of the stomach the end part of the stomach like over here that this this kind of over here the stomach is attached and over here it's the pylorus of the stomach so and, and it ends the small intestine i'm not talking about the duodenum i'm talking about the small intestine the small intestine actually ends at the ileocecal junction which is at the junction between the ileum and the cecum and you know the greater part of the digestion and the food absorption actually takes place in the uh, due in the uh, small intestine. So we uh, we have divided the small intestine finally into three parts. That is the duodenum, which is the first part. The second part is the duodenum, and the third part is the ileum. But in this section, we're only going to talk about the duodenum. So. Uh, before talking about the duodenum, I'm going to name all the structures which are in this, in this diagram so it will be easy for me to talk about the relations and its parts and everything. So the duodenum actually we have divided the duodenum into four parts. That is, this one is the first part, then this is the second part, this one is the third part and this one is the fourth part. So duodenum is actually divided into four parts. So this one, this long loop you can see is actually duodenum. And I'm going to name other structures in this diagram so it will be easy for you to understand the whole lecture. So this structure you see the long, it just starts here and again it's over here. So this one is actually the aorta. This is your aorta. All right. And this one is your inferior vena cava, inferior vena cava. And in the in the uh, front of the inferior vena cava, anterior to into, into inferior vena cava, we have got this guy which is called portal vein. This one is the portal vein. All right. And uh, and nearby it we have got this duct called the bile duct. This is the boy called bile duct. And this one, this big structure, which is over here, and it kind of goes uh, posterior to the this big structure called this one is this uh, large intestine. So this one is your right kidney, right? So this is your right kidney. This one is your transverse colon, and this where your is your ascending colon. So we'll just call it colon, colon or colon, whatever you call it. And this one, this big leafy structure in yellow color, it's your pancreas this is your pancreas all right and uh, so and these are the vessels or you can see the superior mesentric vessels you can superior mesentric artery and superior mesentric vein so we call it both the structures we call them vessels together they are actually superior mesentric artery and superior mesentric vein and the superior mesentric artery which is actually the branch of the uh, uh, abdominal aorta so this is the superior mesentric vein uh, vessels together we call them vessels mesentric vessels right and down here you can see these big structures these are actually this is one is the inferior vena cava going posterior to the pancreas and the duodenum and this one is your iota the abdominal iota especially and which actually divide into the common all right <clears throat> and this is structure this muscle which i have made is actually your right swas muscle r i g h t right swas muscle m u s c e l and this one in the light green color I've made is actually your right ureter, which actually coming from your kidney, from the hilum of your kidney, which is posterior to the uh, this uh, second part of the duodenum. So right ureter. So actually, and other structure which is over here, this is also the bile duct, 
and this one is also the pancreatic duct and that one is the your accessory pen this is accessory pancreatic duct and this is your uh, pancreatic duct that is the real one and this one is your bile duct so they kind of both come together and uh, uh, join together as an ampulla and which actually end into the major duodenal papillae. Oh, because we will be going to talk about that in just a bit.